Hello, it's Monica from IDAC. Today I'm excited to share how to set natural lighting in your scene and create stunning background outside the window in V-Ray for SketchUp. Let's start. This is our living room scene. First, I will create natural lighting using a dome light. To do this, we need an HDRI map, which I will upload to the dome light. You can find a free library of high quality HDRI maps on the website polyhaven.com. All my HDRI maps come from this website because the quality is great. Let's talk about a few important points to consider while choosing HDRI map. First, shadows. Depending on HDRI map you choose, you can create either strong shadows or soft shadows. For example, the small Herbor sunset map will produce soft shadows. On the other hand, the Limpopo golf course map will create strong shadows in your scene. Second, background. The background will also be different in your scene depending on the HDRI map you have used. For instance, the Limpopo golf course map has small distant trees creating a background with trees that appear far away. In contrast, the JNE Gray 02 map has tall, close trees, resulting in a background with large trees. It is necessary to take into consideration these aspects because the shadows and background greatly affect how your scene looks and feels. I usually pick an HDRI map in 4K or 8K resolution. It gives good quality and is easy for SketchUp to handle. Let's create a dome light. First, I click on the dome light icon and place it in the scene. Then I go to Asset Editor. In the dome light properties, I upload the downloaded HDRI map. To brighten up the scene, I will set the intensity to 100. And that's it. Just make sure the shape is set to sphere. In the newer versions of V-Ray, it sets automatically, but in older versions, you will need to set it manually. I will also turn off the sunlight as it's on by default. For this scene, I will not be using it. Now let's hit render and see how it looks. This is our render. It looks good, but we can adjust the lighting in the scene by rotating the HDRI map in the dome light. When we rotate the HDRI map, the lighting in the scene changes. I always enable interactive rendering while rotating the HDRI map so I can see the changes in real time. To rotate it, I click on the texture slot in the dome light properties, expand the texture placement tab and adjust the value in rotate age option. I try out a few rotation values and choose the one that gives the best lighting for the scene. Let's compare the renders with different HDRI map positions. We can see that the scene is now brighter. The same applies to the background. When we rotate the HDRI map, the background also changes. This happens because the lighting in the scene and the background outside the window are connected. Sometimes this can be an issue if we are happy with the lighting, but want to change the background. Now I will show you how to adjust the lighting and the view outside the window separately. Are you happy with this video? This scene I've been working on is part of my brand new V-Ray for SketchUp visualization course coming soon. Make sure to sign up for the list and you will be the first to know when it's ready. Check the description below the video or click at the upper right corner. First, I go to the dome light properties and in the options tab, I check the invisible option. This allows the dome light to illuminate the scene without affecting the view outside the window. Next, I will create a second dome light and rename it to background. This light will only be used for the view outside the window. I upload an HDRI map to the new dome light. You can use the same HDRI map as before or choose a different one. In this case, I will use a different HDRI map for the background called Clarence Midday. If it's uploaded, I set the intensity to 100. To ensure this light only affects backgrounds and does not impact the scene's illumination, I go to the Options tab and uncheck the following. Shadows, affect alpha, diffuse, specular, reflections and atmospherics. This way, the background light is separate from the scene's illumination, giving us full control over both. 
This is our render. Let's take a look at the light mix. With light mix, I can edit the dome light, which illuminates the scene and background separately. I can turn them on or off, adjust their intensity or change their color, giving me a full control over the lighting in my scene. Let's change the position of the background without affecting the illumination of the scene. This adjustment only changes the view outside the window. I render interactively and modify the background properties by clicking on the texture slot, clicking on the texture placement tab and adjusting the rotate edge option. If you want to make the background darker, go to the light mix and decrease the background's intensity. This makes the background more visible. In V-Ray 6, you can enable the finite dam option and adjust the radius, which controls the size of the dam and the projection height. This lets you decide if you want to see more sky than greenery outside the window or more trees and greenery with less sky. Finally, go to the texture slot, open the color manipulation tab and change the color offset to gray. This will desaturate the background and make it less contrasty. By using the light mix in post-production, you can easily adjust all the properties of the dome light and the background in your scene. Thanks for watching. I hope these tips will help you improve your visualizations even more. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org. You will find there many free content, free resources, V-Ray for SketchUp course, articles, and even more. See you there. Bye.